Yeah, we are patrolling the streets of Sun City West with one of the posse members who is back on the job today. He is one of 17. Now, Sun City West has about 70 posse members total, and a lot of them are working to go through their own background checks so they can be back on the road too. But this is a really big deal for this community, and I want to talk to him. This is Jim. You've been a posse member for nine years now. So what does it mean to you to be able to be back here for your community and protecting them? Well, we feel that, uh, you know, we owe everything to this community. Everything that the posse has and has been is the result of uh, the community action. So uh, being back out here, I've seen a lot of people that uh, was at the barbershop the other day. They said, we don't feel secure without seeing the black cars go by. So we really uh, uh, appreciate getting back on the road again. And a real quick question. How did that background check go for you now that you had to do another one to be back here today? Uh, I guess I was honest. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> um, so they're working to get others on the streets, but Penzone says, Sheriff Penzone said this is really an efficiency problem on their part. They're working to get faster background checks for all of the posse members, and they're working to put new policies in place for the program as well. Sheriff Penzone says, really, this is an important partnership with those who deserve oh, yeah, to be part of this program. And everybody that you see here, not only does their work reflect their character, but they don't want to stand next to someone who is undeserving to be a part of this organization. They don't want to be in uniform with someone who has done something that does not represent our values. I'll make the loop again. And Jim's getting a call right now, so he is back on the street for his community. Now, Sheriff Penzone says the goal is to have the entire Sun City West Posse back on the streets by the end of this month, and not just them, but the entire 400-person posse that serves all, all of the valley, really other areas as well, back on patrol as well. So they will start to process those background checks as soon as possible. Reporting live in the patrol car tonight in Sun City West, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.